everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another Sketch Sunday video. This week's sketch comes to you from My Favorite Things and as always it will be linked down below in the more information section. So we're going to be doing a 5x7 card and I use those in and out stitch rectangle dies from My Favorite Things to cut out three pieces of white cardstock for the rectangles on the front and then we're going to be using My Favorite Things Cute Critters stamps and die sets. So we're going to be using three of the animals from the stamp set as well as their coordinating dies. We're also going to be using My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink to stamp them. So the tool that I'm using looks very similar to the Misty that I have. This is called the Hampton Arts Stamp Perfect Stamp Positioning Tool. And I wanted to see how this worked. This was the first time I've ever used this. So I took out the two magnets from my Misty and used them here, which is great because now I have four different magnets that I can use to hold down paper. It worked out really well. Um, I like the tool. It's very, very comparable to the Misty, except it's about half the price. So I used my 60% off coupon at Michael's and picked one up. So, so far, this is the only time that I used it, and I like it so far. So if you were just... Um, you know, if you're just looking for something quick that's not the Misty that you have to order, this is something that you probably will enjoy. So I stamped all three, and then we're going to be using the My Favorite Things Abstract Art die set, or a stamp set, and we're going to be using Hero Arts, two different shades of ombre, the Tide Pool to Navy and the Mint to Green. So the color scheme of the card is going to be a blue like a, a navy blue, all the way down to like a pool color. So again, I'm stamping, uh, inking the stamp up, and I'm just using the top two colors right now to ink the stamp. We're going to use this as a background because I thought it was a little bit too plain with just the three uh, rectangle dies on there. So I'm just going to continue to move the stamp, and again, there'll be a little bit of ink left on the stamp, which is fine because I'm going to use it to blend the next colors. So I'm using really colors two and three on that stamp set from the um, the navy the tide pool to navy. So I'm using like the middle and then the tide pool color, and then I'm just placing the rectangles on there like the sketch, just to kind of see where what's going to be covered. And now I realize later on that this part that I'm stamping right about now is pretty much all covered when it comes time to be done the card, but it's okay. So I'm using the bottom part of that ink pad, still more like the Tide Pool color. I just want to give it a little bit of variation, and then we're just going to go back and forth. The nice thing about this is you can just continue to stamp in the same spot over and over again if you don't like the color that you get. So... Now I'm going to start on the uh, other one using the Mint to Green ink pad from Hero Arts. I love these ombre inks. They're one of my favorite ones to stamp with. And mixing and matching them is so much fun too. So we're just going to stamp a couple more down. This is these last ones of the big ones. And then I'm going to go back in with some individual splotches and do some stamping with that that coordinates with the colors that I did in that same area. So the first one is kind of going to be a navy color and the other one is going to be more of the mint green color. So I'm just inking those up and then we will stamp them down. I'm just using a dried baby wipe to wipe some of the excess ink off of the front of the Stamp Perfect. It's so much like the Misty, just wipe, very easily wipes off. And I'm really liking this tool. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Misty that I have, so this is more of like a card maker's one. Okay, so now I have the front pieces, and I'm just placing the uh, three rectangles where they're supposed to be laid out on the sketch. So now I'm going through my Distress Ink drawer. If you can see, I have tons of ink blending tools and mini uh, ink blenders and pa ink pads that I'm going to find the two colors that I wanted to do. So those colors of Distress Ink are Peacock Feathers and I'm trying to think the other one is Chipped Sapphire. So the Chipped Sapphire is more like a navy. It's like a dark blue with a little bit of a purplish tint to it. So I used that at the top and I just inked up an entire one with that. Then I inked up part of one with more, the one on the right side I inked up more with the Chipped Sapphire. 
and now I'm going in with peacock feathers and the second one I didn't ink up as much the second one that goes on the bottom I didn't ink up as much with the chipped sapphire as I did with the first one kind of again going with the ombre look and trying to use my distress inks to create that just a little nice finish to the side so it's it stands out a little bit from the white of the card base so I'm using my ATG to glue the pieces down it was almost out of tape, so I may do a video on how to change it just in case people haven't seen this or how easy it is to change the tape when I get done this one. So I'm placing that last one down and looking at the sketch to see how it goes. Now I'm going to put the characters down on how I kind of want to do it. I kind of like them black and white, but um, not keeping them that way. We're going to be using some Copic markers and we're just going to be coloring in the one animal, the fox on camera. So the markers that I used were the E97 and E99, the Pro Marker Terracotta. So I'm just, you're just gonna see me go back and forth amongst these three markers to get the shading right. Now I didn't color all three on camera because it does take a little while and I was going outside of the lines because I was trying to go as fast as I could because I didn't want you guys to be bored. I don't do any type of fancy blending. I kind of just go with my light color, go in with my medium color, go back and forth with my light and my medium, add some shading with the darkest color, and then just keep going back and forth until I get a color that I think looks right. Now, again, I'm not great with these markers. These I'm fairly new to Copics. So again, it's just the coloring technique that I've picked up over time. So there you go, you'll see me go in with the lightest color again and blend out some of those lines. And then you'll see the darkest color, the terracotta, I go in and put some shadows in and back and forth and back and forth. I just thought it was kind of boring and didn't want to show you guys all of the coloring, but you will see all of the characters colored after this. Um, the other markers that I did use, the Copic Chow, I used Y6B5R32. E15 and E18. For the sketch markers, again, I used E97 and 99. The Premier markers by Nicole, which you can get in AC Moore, I used Walnut, Slade, and Pewter. The Pro markers that I used were Ice Gray 1 and Terracotta. So those are all of the, they're all alcohol-based markers, so they all work well together, which is really nice because if you can't get the Copics, then you can get those markers. So I'm just showing you guys the extra markers that I added in there. Um, the R32 is that pink right there, and then I got the blue too to for the flower. So I forgot about that. Um, and then I used the black pilot pen, it's a V5, to go in and darken up the eyes and the nose of the animals because going over it with Copic marker makes it a little bit faded. And then I went in with a white gel pen and put dots in the eyes and also put three little dots around their cheeks and it just gives them a cute little cartoony look to it. So you don't have to do that. It's just something that I found that once I added the little white dots, they looked like cute little cartoon characters. They kind of came to life. So there's all three of them. And now I'm going to take my Zig 2A glue pen and glue them down to the front of the card after I figure out which order I wanted them in. So we're just going to take the Zig 2A glue pen, which is my favorite glue for putting down little pieces or pieces that really the ATG gun would not be good for putting down. Anything that has lots of curves and things um, or that's tiny isn't really good to use the ATG for. So there you have it. There's the front of my card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to add one little more thing, a piece of washi tape. In the sketch, you'll notice that there is a little line down the side of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to figure out how I wanted to do this and how thick I wanted it. So I eventually just put part of it down on the card, part of it down onto my piece of, um, into my craft mat, use my scissors to cut it off, and then... I'll cut off the edges and cut off the excess, which, sorry about that, that really wasn't on camera. It wasn't really easy to um, get that. Washi tape isn't really that sticky on there, so you kind of have to press it down, and it was kind of falling off, so um, I kind of had to hold it up closer to me. But that's the card for this week. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or direct message me, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video. Thanks!